What's up, Meta Nerds? This video is going to answer the question, where was Obi-Wan born? We know the background of so many characters, but not the crazy old wizard. While in both canon and legends, it's the same place, the peaceful, grassy world of Stujan. Not much is known about this planet, even what part of the galaxy it's in. And the only details we have of Obi-Wan's life there comes from the Legends novel Jedi Apprentice, The Hidden Past. It explores the early years of Obi-Wan's apprenticeship to Qui-Gon, with the details about his homeworld being revealed when Kenobi was captured by a crime organization known as the Syndicate. Their MO was to take those that opposed them and wipe their memories. A common practice for droids, but considered barbaric for organics. If you expected a scene where Qui-Gon swoops in just before the procedure is initiated, being the hero and saving his Padawan, you'd be wrong. Obi-Wan does get his brain scrambled by this device, but by using the Force, he was able to hang on to some of his cherished childhood memories. As the twin metal rods of the electro-pulsers were screwed against his temples, this is what flashes in his mind. Quote, A visit home. His mother. Softness and light. His father. A laugh, full-bodied, joined by his mother's, just as full, just as rich. His brother, sharing a piece of fruit with him. The explosion of sweet juice in his mouth. Soft grasses underneath his bare feet. The droid activated the memory wipe while the guards watched. A strange sensation began in his temples and moved inward. Not pain, not quite. Owen. His brother's name was Owen. Rough linens against his hands, he clung to his mother. The end of the visit. Yes, he had wanted to go back to the temple. It was a great honor. They knew they could not keep him from it. He wanted it so much. Yet, goodbye was so painful, so hard. A soft cheek pressed against his, I carry you always. And that's all the detail we have about Obi-Wan's family and his homeworld. At the time of this book, there was no name for this world. Later, the Clone Wars character encyclopedia would say that he was born on Coruscant, but that doesn't match up with Yoda commenting upon his first seeing Kenobi that he had come from a far off place, or what clearly seems to be a more simple farm life. So the birthplace of one of Star Wars' most important characters was never named until Star Wars Celebration V. Jon Stewart was the host, and since he was a lifelong fan, Lucas did something that's used in a lot of Star Wars names, Tuckerizing or mixing up their first and last names, in order to come up with an in-universe name. This is the only clip I could find of the actual event, where Stewart was reading questions submitted by fans, this one asking where Kenobi was born. The planet Stooja. That is definitely one of the stranger behind the scenes facts, and one of those weird things about Star Wars lore. So much is detailed like companies that make the ships, even the biology of space slugs, but where Kenobi was from never got filled in. Interestingly, also in the Stujan system, there's a planet known as Kolstev from Stephen Colbert. And Mahdi got the full name Conan Antonio Mahdi in honor of another Star Wars fan and comedian Conan O'Brien. Though Lucas naming things like this may not seem like serious lore, Ironically, it is considered the most accurate, called G-Canon, coming from George himself and thus will never be changed from any other source. So now you know where Obi-Wan Kenobi was born, and the unlikely story behind its naming. If you want to connect with us, help support the channel, or get your own copies of the reference materials used to make these videos, be sure to check out the links in the description. Special shout out to our supporters over on Patreon, but most important of all, remember, Yoda's species is just called Yoda's species, and I think that's awesome, even if it pisses off Yaddle. And the Force will be with you, always.